<laughs> Welcome back to the show, friends, allies, and people who wish to take over your as much as I do. This is your host, Thanks, Merc. <laughs> Doing something that he wanted to do for a while now. Not much of a surprise when I only put the next video up after a few minutes, huh? Or I could just record this now, save it for a few hours, then. Ah, details, details. <laughs> doing, like I said in the last video, if you haven't figured it out, I, I said it at the end, I think. Anyways, we're doing a bit of reading. Now, I hope you enjoy this. What this is about, I'll read off a few things. An orphan Deloy is adopted by a soft-hearted Morlock, warping the everlasting instincts and the world around her. Here she meets a time traveler. Her and her friend Mob, the Morlock, must find a way to protect her ill-fated underworld colonies. Now, before I figure this out, um, I thought this was more based on the book. But, uh, apparently it's more based on the 1960 movie, which, um, I have a bit of a beef about. I, I'm just confused on why the Morlocks have Earth Queen skin and, and have, like, troll figures from World of Warcraft. They look like the trolls from World of Warcraft. I can't believe I just realized that now. <laughs> oh my, I know what I'm gonna do next in the game. I don't know, I thought it would be best on the book because it was in the book section, but, Calm down, Dinksmer. Calm down, Dinksmer. People are stupid, you can't control them. I still haven't got my new mask, my new face. Um, you're gonna see me looking down a lot, so, um, don't worry about it. I'm trying to see if I can balance it. Yeah, it says note, this is more based off the George Paul's 1960 flick rather than the book or the updated version of the movie. Though the Eloy are, are more what like described in the book. Sorry about the writing areas, yada yada yada. Well, at least he tries to change a few things. Well, at least it's a mix of the book and uh, film. Though I still ain't gonna get over the appearance of the walks and that. It just. Look at it. I'm reading it off my iPad. Fun fact, this is what I used to record my first videos before it ran out of space. Looking at you, you piece of shit. Uh, it's not gonna be a long chapter, let me see. You're gonna see this, so you might be able to see in the reflection. Who knows? Can you see anything else? I don't know, I, I can already see it in my glasses right here. <laughs> Chapter 1, Little Shika. The alloy pulled around the bend of an ancient trail, worn into rock for many centuries of use. The entire journey was all the same as the very ancestors. The night journey that never seems to end for the small breed except individual death. It was the destiny. This very thought ingrained in all their minds, artificially bred for the small, fine, and blonde features. The Aloy were very beautiful creatures. Behind them came another creature that dominated their every whim. The Morlocks, with heavy, heavy, with heavy leather whips made from the skins of the Aloy. They cured them down, they cured them down the worn trail quietly, with only the occasional crack of the whip. There was only one purpose why this trail was taken. The Eloy, being very beautiful, were also very stupid. That's blonde for ya. That wasn't written this. You may hear your few quips. Yang for Ruby would be proud. They had degraded throughout the many millennia from their original human ancestors. For only, for only one purpose, they still existed. And that was for food. The Morlocks bred them to be very, to be carefree and distant from their environment. Illinois totally depended on the night creatures to pamper them. 
one pregnant alloy female had become a meal for a pair of morlocks. A broad, gentle-natured female called Marn and her heavily scaled guard mate Fawn. Foul. I'm not going to pronounce and grammar. What is it? Uh, the pregnant alloy was killed swiftly with no regard for a swollen stomach. Too many centuries of feasting on alloy made the night breed rare, care very little. Strangely enough, the Morlocks were also descendants of mankind, as were the alloy. Two separate branches of human creatures evolved in totally different worlds. <laughs> well, isn't that a bitch? The higher class subjugates the weak, the lower ones. But soon the meek shall dominate the earth. That is the way of life. <laughs> That's just my quote right there. <laughs> I've learned that after a while. All I have to do is wait for my time. <laughs> People have been asking how I would get a call to the earth. That quote is how. <laughs> All it takes is time. I will get to it when the time comes. <laughs> For look at this. The Morlock female pulled a bloody baby out from the Aurora's open uterus and clenched it in her mutated hands. The boy just fit into her palm. The baby just fit into her palms. It was not the fact that finding an alloy fetus was surprising, but one that was alive and ready for the world. But in fact, the little ba alloy baby was already fully developed and just hours from being born. <laughs> ah, so close. <laughs> At least the meat is tender now. <laughs> If not for a twist of fate, or even a spark of pity, the story would have ended here, in the stomach of a warlock. The female had no children of her own, as she failed to conceive any healthy ones. If she did, it was normally a stillborn or a miscarriage. It was always greatly discouraged to her as to any female. Now here she had a tiny screaming newborn in her hands, Begging for somebody to take care of it. <laughs> Beg all you want. Little child. Little child. <laughs> I would make a perfect Disney villain. Actually, no, I'd probably be banned from it. <laughs> oh my, I'm some socket, ain't I? We haven't seen anything yet. Wait, how long can my laptop record for? I guess this is a good test. <laughs> the ugly greenest face stared down at the baby with thoughtful concern. Finally, she gazed over to her mate and announced with glowing eyes, I want this baby. It's a girl. I've always wanted a girl found. The hideous male furred his heavy rolled brow, shook his three-fingered hand at the desperate mate, at his desperate mate. Oh, my. She isn't a lawyer and only for food. She is an easy meal. The female was already won over, of course. Her motherly instincts have overridden any possible yearning to feast on the helpless child now. I was gonna say she could have used it as a pet, but. Eh, what are pets to these? Creatures, these people, these subterranean people. Her motherly instincts have only overridden any possible yearning to feast on the helpless thing now. She clutched the filthy annoyed child to her, to herself and glared at found. No, she is mine and I will take care of her. Oh no, they're mutants. I don't know how they sound like. I'm trying my voice. This is basically, those two voices are as far as my vocal range can go. Unless I'm trying to do Sneagle from the Hobbit. Eh, I don't see what's wrong with bringing that guy into it. I mean, they look similar anyway. Who knows? There's only the console. Wait, no, I already checked over the monitor. I mean, it's what people are You are being silly. Found 
He laughed when his face went annoyed and never. Even if you could arrange for your walks would not allow it. Especially not now that the lawyer was up against us with the new master. The time traveler. Plus a lawyer live on daylight and a fruit, not a meat and damp dark air. The half-blind male had made several good points, but it was no use. Nothing could break the strong bond now formed between the two oddities. Too joyful were her new bundles, he got up and ventured back to own private cake. It was small enough just for a few more rocks to stay comfortable in, and a warm woven on a blanket woven from a special soft clam. He laid the Roy baby on. If the baby was merely a year, year or two older human for, of our time, she would have screamed in horror from the ugly monster that gleamed down at her with glowing eyes and on these feet on jutted out front teeth. Like the unknown vampires of the future. <laughs> Alicard will be proud. These are real fucking vampires for you. A bridge one. Forget, just ignore me. This was her first image, and her, in her undeveloped mind that will lie purely on instinct for the time being, she clung to the image and smell of her mother. The Morlock's mother had newfound feelings, and with the help of certain plants. Um, WC. I don't want to get banned from YouTube, so, um, I'm going to see if I can skip. The near starve the Morlock's mother newfound feedings that would help a certain plants mix with the meat she fed the baby, and a, and a, with a odd sort of soup chewed from her jaws. The near starving baby drank furiously in the wrapped arms of her, of her mother from the bowl. For her sake, Mon started to add fruit to her own diet, since he, since he realized it would help with the relationship of her. And to understand these the poor child. Being since long evolved from having a staple diet of food on the menu, Mon found them somewhat distasteful. They aren't revolting, but secret put up with it. The mate shook his head and clipped his chisel like teeth at the new one that had now taken place in his home. No, I thought that my old mate would take a wife for a child. I would have imagined it and Lord flying before that. After a few weeks, Mons finally decided to come up with a name for a baby that was going to be strong and healthy. I got the children's show. I happen to think of a very, very long form way to call you, my little baby. She held the screen forever baby in her two hands like the way a child would hold some pet frog. Or to call you Sita in his name. Which your car reminds me of, still not afraid of slaves. It is a very old name, passed on from our aunt, when our ancestors were once young. I'm not even gonna question how she knows that. This is a fan thing. Only 13 and a half minutes on the video. Oh, almost 14, but it's doing well, my computer is. Jeez, I still never laid down my computer the way it is. It's done to worse before. Not long, make a cut. Interesting. I will tell you this now. When she manages to grow up fucking poor, I will eat her for dinner. I will promise you that as there is no other future for you. I found in front of her. Mon scooted away and hissed at him with exposed teeth. Who dare do such a thing and you'll find the place next to your bed call? Oh, you see, Bob. Found look at her friend. I'm not saying it to be cruel, cool. it's just a fate of every one of them. It has always been that way, and it will always be our way. Thus, you people are being very stupid. It's the way they are bred. Oh, well, we will see if she is stupid or not. The ex's mother stroked her baby's blonde head with a finger. Look at the time travel and what he did with the other boy. 
They suddenly had fire in their eyes as if they were hiding it all along, suppressed and nothing more was the instinct to fight. The male Morak leaned over and scanned into his feet, going out. When you think that is a good thing, you try and raise the lie of our knowledge. It is too great for a lie. Sir, I might be able to rise and fight a small bit, but it means nothing. They are still very stupid arms. You really like more logs. I whispered and threw that her baby We are all one, all one money for to the girl, you know. Tell me, yes, but not now. It is of their fault that they went back to some. Some of us couldn't. So he was heavy figure off the ground and squirted and stout forced to cut some mother. It was their fault that they decided to fall from our grasp and become lazy. We are the future lot of frail cousins. Mom raised her brow and a gentle smile lifted up on her mouth. So, that was the first time I've ever seen you admit the fact that you're related to skinny animals that we feast on. Father wanted. I mean, I'm not doing it this way. Father wanted and pulled his long car back up against his waist. Looks is changing everything, buddy. I do remind you that you don't cling so tightly to that baby. She won't last long without the sun. She will get sick. So you actually care for the little one. One what it in. More surprises. I'm actually laughing at this shit. Not this. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm just gonna say it. Fawn waved his hand at her and snorted, making his way back out the cave to work at the caverns. More, I mean, Fawn peered down at Sheikah and nodded in agreement to her mate's advice. It's a very good idea that she would get sunlight. I know exactly where it took you. The Murak ventured towards an old abandoned part of some caverns. Inside the dry place was all equipment everywhere. A good century ago, the Morrocks used to waste some Rory babies in the special white caverns with study, on improving their breed for better meat. At least here nobody would suspect a baby, and there would be no danger of the outside world. The equipment was still in working order. Morrocks shoved it to a, a hidden crevice just inside, in case a curious Morrock child came, comes to play around in the rubbish. It was mainly here where she could spend most of her time as a baby and toddler, after all. Yeah, I can see why she'd be concerned. But she grew older and could, vent just, could just venture around outside in the real world and see what was when the other Morocks began to notice her. Of course, it was out of place to see some little blonde toddler scampering up out from the tiny cracks of the cave. Her mother taught her to squeeze herself between the small cracks where the adult Morocks couldn't reach. Oh, Morak, oh boy, I've been reading too much on the wiki. Morak's gonna reach. It was take a good two full years till the night dwellers could finally do the tolerate the Roy addition into the pack. It was only tolerance and not enough. Still, see, see how to stay under the water eye of the mother. Just in case, uh, hungry Morak decides to come too close. Why is this making me hungry? Hey, I can I am open to pretty much any sort of food, any sort of meat. Why is this making me hungry? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, listen. I already accepted the fact that I'm pretty much a spawn of Satan at this point. So screw it. I'm pretty much going to hell already. Just be the stuff that I say when I on the outside of this video and some of the stuff in the video. Fawn also, uh, also in return walks over his mate to make sure no one other tried to overtake her for Shika. As much as he disliked the blonde child, he still had great love for his mate. The last thing he wanted to see was her in great mourning. Eh, if not for the child's sake, at least for the wife's. Eh, one or the other, if you don't care for one, care for the other. Eh, at least you have your priorities. Little Sheikah had a hard time moving around in the caverns as most of the areas were pitch dark. Only the glowing eyes of the Morak scuffling around her were the things he could see. The 
it wasn't until she discovered the errors where the cave dwellers managed the machines and the other equipment that she noticed a small amount of light reflecting off the glowing machinery and the running water. Here she would sit and watch the machinery glow gentle colors of orange and blue waves and balance. And as she grew bored of that, she would play in the water until the exhausted Morocks would chase her away. I don't want to shut you again. Get her mother. Often she would try to seek around the machinery, thinking she was invisible to them since she could barely see them herself. She proved wrong in all the places and then decided to question her mother. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine how it would go about. I can't think of anything right now. My head's being squeezed by this hat. It's Canada. It's around Canada Day, so I'm still gonna sell my pride no matter if it hurts. Ah, for the for queen and country. She raised her arms towards her, asking to be picked up. Maud cradled her in her hairy arms and grunted, "You're covered in fur, but it should be surprising." I mean, look at me. I'm covered in fur. Actually, to be honest, though. In my family, yeah, it's just a genetic thing with my family. But for every single one in the fa every single one is furry. It, I'm not even kidding. Like a light body. You should have seen my mother. <laughs> uh, Western decaying worm-eaten body. She served a good use in life. She weighs her. Yada yada yada. Sika spoke to her in the animal like once and groaned since it was the only language she knew. <laughs> oh, I hope no one heard that. Anyone hear that? Don't hear anyone. Yeah, it's time my little shit of a sister. It's not that bad. I just have to taste you a little bit. Then I find the package back me and I can't. She motioned her fingers around at the working at the working Morlocks. Because you can't see in the dark like we can. What's well. You're a night dweller. Well, I, th I thought I was the same as everyone else. You can't see shit, kid. You have no idea. <laughs> she went on. The blonde child had actually never seen her own reflection and printed that she had the same gruesome features as those around her. It was too dark for her to notice that she grew no white hair down her arms and legs, but that she sported five fingers and seven feet. That still, pot still pissed me off. I mean, they're descended from people. <sighs> they tried so many movie versions and they failed at all. The closest one is the one that people liked the most in the 2002 one. At least they tried to make it similar. Or they went one in a cast system, but yeah. There are many things he didn't know of. We'll understand it later, Shika. Watch for this. No, it's dusk outside, but the clouds have moved in. It's time to go up. To catch an alarm? The little child asked with eager Shika. Yay, murder of my own people. Oh boy. Mar nodded quickly, feeling slightly concerned how Shika was so eager to see a slaughter. That was me at that age. I mean, I can't judge. Yeah, I was pretty, I put, I'm pretty bloodthirsty as a kid. It only increased with age. I just tied it extremely well. That's right, two teeth on this. I forgot that there was this flipping thing. Thought I sparked out the whole thing. Look at this. She still isn't working right. Look. Maybe it was because it was her same breed, poor little girl. I thought she was a Morlock. Ah, oh, it's adorable. She thinks she's the Uberman. She thinks she's the Uberman. Shh. I'm not gonna German, trust me, I'm trying. It's only to spell racist. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I already told you and earlier, I'm pretty much spawn a Satan at this point. You don't spawn as one, you become one with age. I like fine wine if it was made of piss. <laughs> oh boy, I'm stuck into new lows. After the feast, Shika went off to explore again. 
didn't like meat naturally and only ate foods her mother brought from above, her little hands and feet were conditioned to the left surface of the walk. Well, at least she's trot she's starting to be more like them. Eh, good, be like your family. Her sense of smell and hearing were stronger than normal. As she leads the machinery again, she searched for a faintly right but it's spot and said, Yeah, that's the thing with all mankind. The adaptability. That's the one superpower that all people have. A keep can go blind and take out the cage. It's crazy. Uh, I think Brent or Brian Underwood. I'm I'm sorry. I can't remember the guy's name. He was on I first heard him on Ripley. Uh he lost his eyes due to eye cancer. But he somehow learned to go cage because well he learned it when he lost it when he was two, so he never really knew lived on with sight, so we're going to help quick. And it can be a learned thing. People who are blind can learn to do that. Daredevil is pretty much the most accurate superhero now. After she reached the machine or again, she searched for a faintly light lit spot, lighted lit spot and set, so grammar errors. It, it already warned us, so I can't get mad at him, and he, he knows his mistake. Sat there, her poor vision didn't catch the four more children that stood close by. Only when their glowing eyes came closer to see realized he was not alone. If it's pure dark, I'm guessing it's not pure dark, there's a bit of light, because of pure dark, the uh, we like this membrane that's in stuff with the Morlocks and the cats and the lines and all that stuff when we foot light. So there is a bit of light or she wouldn't be able to move around at all. It's dimly lit, but still lit in a sense. Hey, look, it's the little annoy. I won't call her muscle because she should be. <laughs> oh, shit. One of the little children fitly grunted at her and motioned towards his friend. They all chuckled and pointed at her with their thick fingers and got. Hey, I don't know what got is. <laughs> it makes me think of what I hark up and roar. <coughs> I do that in the morning. I don't know. I get hairballs. I actually do get hair both. I'm not even kidding. Mixed with some orange material. I don't want to know what it is. Maybe bloody phlegm. Who knows? Who, who knows? I, and I, I've i been doing that for years, so it guess it's natural for me. It, I feel like bizarre, though. I'm still kind of figuring that shit out. Secret could just barely make out the round face and then he said, Who's 30 minutes on my video? This is the longest one yet! <laughs> Yay, congratulations! I wish I had one of those party poppers. But then I have to clean that up again. I don't want to use the vacuum and all that stuff. No, I don't want to live in a dirty house. Trust me, you don't know how much I clean up after my, after my sister. It's just some of the juicy spills. And yes, he's not a little kid. He's 13 years old. Leave you alone. You finally work up the cords to talk to him. Oh, you were just cowards anyway. It was not an alloy. I was cowards. I'm doing a vote. <laughs> I don't look more like the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. I'm excited for Dark Crystal Age of Resistance on Netflix to appear. There's a trailer on Netflix. Go watch it. Go watch the trailer. I think I have it in my like videos actually. If I don't, I gotta like it soon. I gotta go check after this video. Oh, I'm so excited. It is my second favorite movie of all time, just behind Warcraft. I don't know, Warcraft, the animatronics. So, the animatronics look like real, and the CGI looks so real. It's, I actually believe that they were there. I haven't felt this impressed with CGI since Jurassic Park. I've been so impressed. Boom! placed his hands on his hips and threw back his shoulders in a proud gesture. Excellent. Excellent. We are very brave. We don't allow anybody to push us around. Put the hand in her face. Curse you in a line. What else do you think you are? This is the only little sh- Imagine it was a little shit. <laughs> oh, like, well, uh, like our children. Oh, everyone's little shit when they're kids. So I'm trying to give it the most stereotypical one here. So close to 30 minutes. Yay. <laughs> I am, I am a more like one of you are too, she yelled, getting up and standing as tall as she could. This, <laughs> oh, that's a good shit right there, yeah, that's a good shit. 
His small stature just barely reached the other's chins. At this response, the four ace all bursted out laughing. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? It's like my own version of a real heim scream. I don't think it can be replicated. Laughing <laughs> and shook their white hairy heads. She just shrunk back and tightly clutched her fist. A surge of anger gave her legs power and she must have the boy that stood in front of her. With a great self, she slammed him while child to the ground and slammed her fist to his chest. Surprise, and that's the thing with the Morlocks, that was the one weakness, they're actually, they did at least keep that from the book, that they were tough, I mean, they were strong, they were also very brittle and, well, defensively weak, as they have not encountered resistance before, like, and with her arms, they have counted, recount, encountered resistance. Hmm. Of sorts, I don't know, I'm trying it, none of them. It's just a shocking. <sighs> she just shrunk back and yaddy yaddy. Oh, I just like that. The other boys only protested and encouraged the friend to beat her to a pulp. But as he lifted his powerful legs, the boy kicked her off him and grabbed her wrist. Stupid mouse, are you on me, Brady? I'm gonna love doing that voice. I used, I hated it just a few sec minutes, one minute, two. A few minutes ago, but now I'm gonna have fun with that. Those way people find out what it might hear me. Someone might be hearing me right now. You hear a lot in this house, actually. Don't worry about someone's calling. I'll just get told of just a few minutes. <laughs> One minute, so long. Sick us. Something must are you a very brave thing? Yeah, I did picking on a little girl. No, I did picking on a little girl. I know the voice. I thought it was her saying. No, I was picking on a little girl. Another voice boomed over them. Lauren had come to the rescue. Yay, Lauren. She stood over the boys and grabbed the one that was fighting Chica by her hair. Silly mom, you should run along before I put a nice hand print over on ya. Sika squinted at the boys. That was his name. But, oh, that becomes her friend. Ah, I've seen that trope plenty of times, but it's a trope that I like. The little ship learns. <laughs> that was his name. Hmm. 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 I'm still excited for Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I'm, I like the Chung Wei no, uh, no, I don't know what it is like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are apparently were creeped out by that, but I found that hilarious. I, I just enjoyed it. Trust me, I know it, but actually, no, I, what did I annoy people with? Oh, I just my neck. That Marg returned to Claire and sifted off, shuffled off to a darker part of the cabin. After they had gone, Mom looked down at her charge and shook her head. Shouldn't let yourself be cornered. You wanted to hide. But Mom, we need. If it's no, I. But Mom, you were small and my kids too. Why should I hide? I want a friend, Mama. <laughs> Sorry, I would just laugh if someone did that. Ah, uh, you're gonna wave it friendless your eyes. You're gonna die. You're gonna die alone, kid. <laughs> Born child protested and yanked on her mother's clothing. Mom sighed, it was true. The child couldn't think only for the rest of her life. She needs to find friends. Where the else she should find their eyes, ones that will protect her. It was actually a good idea. Who would be her friend, though? Not many take us for the good old white child. I didn't want to eat her. And so do I now. This, this has gotten me hungry. I wonder what an arm would taste like. Am? Oh, fuck, that was close. You didn't, you didn't see fucking anything. You didn't fucking see anything, you little shits. We're good? That's good. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe, please! Please don't unsubscribe, please! What do you want me to do? Please don't unsubscribe! Please!
Please. <laughs> Remy, can you cut off your arm? I'm hungry. I don't know why I got stupid show cars doing that. Ah, shit. Ah, no, I don't need you. Mons, yada yada yada. It was actually a good idea. Who would be your friend on not me? Take us to the orchard. Most only threatened to eat her like Mom did. <laughs> and that concludes chapter one of this fanfic. Of, uh, damn, what was it called? To the top. Of Morlock's Hidden Lord. Now, I'm not telling you. Now, I chose this to K to T and not all things because I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get banned on YouTube already and I'm not even monetizing. Sucks already. I changed a few words so no one changed a few words just to make sure that no one would get. Would find any material that's interpreted as anything else. I changed a few things, but so unless you want to, you do not look it up. I'm gonna change a few work lines in the future to fit it. Okay, but I hope you enjoyed this first chapter. This is a new thing for me. I actually enjoying this. Now that I know how long my computer can actually go for. Oh, oh, oh over half an hour. <laughs> I might be able to do more stuff with this, longer videos more often if you want to. <laughs> Anyways, that is Thanks Merc, signing out. Yeah.